why do you want to be an artist? It just made me everything that I am today. There's no restraints. I can actually express what I have to say. I want to keep pictures as like memories. So I just do it because I, I just want to. So, first question. What inspired you to just start? Mm. This would be easier. Okay. <laughs> what inspired me to start sculpting was a contest that my art teacher offered me in sophomore year. I saw the skulls that they were sculpting, um, and my teacher thought that it was a cool idea for me to actually try out and sort of see if I liked it or not. I would. I fell in love with it, and I thought it would be awesome just to try and experience. It was sort of like a ticket like a golden ticket for me. It was a chance to actually try for something bigger and give more purpose to my art and my life. Knowing that I have potential to become like the next Rick Baker or the next well-known special effects makeup artist, that all I have to do is just keep on practicing and keep trying to enhance my skills. One of my most influential mentors was, or still is, Andrew Freeman. He is a sculptor, a main, the head artist at Immortal Masks and co-owner. Uh, Immortal Masks is a special effects company. They work with high-end uh, movie businesses and create all types of beautiful um, art pieces. He started a business inside his garage and then expanded into a whole warehouse and they keep growing. It's amazing and very inspirational that he was able to take something that made him happy that he didn't even find as more of a work but more as a hobby and actually turn it into an occupation. Artist block for me is usually my emotions getting in the way of trying to create something. But I do try and take emotions like that and find the inspiration behind it. If there's something weighing on my mind, something that just happened or is still happening, I will try and make a piece about it. Um, I'll sort of take it as if my mind is wanting me to focus on that instead of all this other bigger projects. So I'll take a break from those projects and focus on what is sort of bothering me, create something to showcase that as sort of my coping mechanism. One of the main things that I'm working towards is self-improvement. I want to make sure that I master my craft and I want to become one of the best. Um, one thing that I'm working towards for the school is trying to give other people the same opportunity that I had, which was to test out special effects and sculpting and this whole field and see if it's actually something that you're passionate about. The concept of a starving artist is interesting to me. Um, I think a starving artist is someone that pursues an art that they're passionate about and doesn't get recognized by others. So you can become an artist and make a living off of it, but it might not be something you enjoy. You might not want to make souvenirs for most of your career. Mr. Bloomfield was a, another mentor that pointed out to me that Basically, you would want to step foot and make money first off of making souvenirs, for instance. And then once you have enough money, you could create your own business in pursuing an art that you are passionate about, like sculpting, mask making. Oh yes, this is a design that I... a commission piece for Mr. Bloomfield. He's gonna pay me like 200 bucks. 200 dollars? Yeah, it's the same with this dude. So I'm cool with the initial side of reference. Number one thing, when you start sculpting, make sure you have a reference. <laughs> I love the concept of sculpting. Um, more of a philosophical... Oh, God, that's not the right word. Uh, philosophical. All right, so philosophical. more... Philosophical? Philosophical. Philosophical. More of a philosophical meaning to sculpting, to me, is that you can create anything with clay. If it breaks, you could just remake it. Just like life, 
You can mold it. <laughs> no, but <laughs> mold it. <out. laughs> All right, next question. <laughs> Despite your struggles, why do you continue? I don't know, man. I should just quit. I'm playing. <laughs> 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 we just ended your entire career. Is that, right that's here. it? Like, just cuts to this end of the documentary. <laughs> 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 It's like the B roll is just me crying, just over the sculpture. <laughs> if you guys want to add in the laughs and the jokes just to make the film more like, comical, it's fine. No. Just add in whatever you want and take we out whatever you want. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Director's cut. Like, I quit. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. All right. Thank you. B roll time. Yeah. Director. Cut. Cut. So hey guys, thanks for watching this very unusual video for my channel. Um, but this is going to be an ongoing documentary series on the artists around us. We have pipe parts lined up and this is the first of the five. So we have four more coming. And um, basically what was happening was that this was a project for a single documentary video. But I actually thought there was so much individual uh, personality between all of our artists, because, you know, artists, uh, I would separate them into five separate documentary series. So um, if you guys like what you've seen here, please keep track and subscribe to my channel for more. And if you guys don't and you're a subscriber, then uh, I guess don't watch the video and wait for more of my normal videos that will be coming out later. Uh, so yeah, thank you Mason Fox for allowing us to interview you and thanks to everybody involved in the production of this documentary and I'll catch you guys later hopefully. See ya!